Welcome back to the second daily vlog everyone. So today's a Monday and we're at the convent and we are all at work. Um, I just want to start the video off slightly differently today and maybe answer a few of your questions um, regarding the uses for the convent because we don't have a definitive project yet. Right, let me just go through a few of these comments quickly and see what I can see. Um, I can't read your name, sorry. The convent would make a wonderful full service wedding conference center, theater music venue. That's a great idea. What else? Um, if you could get in with the movie companies, it would be awesome to see them use some sort of convent in movies. That's also a very, very good idea. Steve Rigby says, why don't you use it as a brothel? Great idea, Steve. Um, let's keep going. Creative spaces, Billy. There's never enough affordable places for the arts. And I absolutely agree with you. Open a Bracont. A Bracont, funnily enough, is my very first idea. Um, I was thinking maybe turning the chapel into something like the Room of Requirement from Harry Potter, filling it with beautiful antiques for sale and using the other spaces off the chapel as sort of you could rent um, 10 to 15 square meters for so much a month and you don't have to be there we pay the bills and we heat the place and you just well somebody sells stuff for you basically you just fill up your space um wedding and functions by gene keith that's a great idea mum has suggested weddings that would be fantastic i think um somebody also suggested to turn it into a hostel it's not a massive town ernie but the road which pass, passes through Ernie is called the N12 and it goes all the way from Paris all the way to Fougere which is about 30 minutes away from here into Brittany. So it is sort of a busy road um, but I don't know if there's a demand for that sort of thing. I mean we do have 40 bedrooms and communal washing rooms and communal toilets and you know it's pretty well set up for something like that isn't it? Um, the chapel would make it a great place for parties with its own entrance too. It's a good idea. Um, the chapel I'm just going to renovate and sort of retain its original look. I don't really want to change it um, physically, but its actual use, I have no idea what we're going to do with it. S Mills, how much parking is available at the convent? Might dictate use. You're absolutely correct. Um, just before we bought the place, Gwendolyn had a meeting with the mayor and the town and um, they wanted to find out what we had planned to do with it because originally they wanted to buy it. But unfortunately, they didn't have the budget because each year they have to spend it on things that are important, not abandoned convents in the middle of the town. Um, anyway, they thought perhaps it would be a fantastic hotel or apartment building. Um, they were quite surprised to find out that we had absolutely no plans to do anything with it at the moment. <laughs> they did say though, if we wanted a hotel or apartments, don't hesitate to ask them and we, they will allow access to the back garden from another car park and they said that we could put in as many parking spaces as we would like. Um, it would sort of ruin the garden a little bit. I mean, you could have a bit of parking and then a drive out and then you'd still have a, a very large garden. Um, but yeah, we're not sure at the moment. But there is an option for parking. Right, that's it for that. Um, thank you so much. If you commented, liked or subscribed, I really appreciate it. I will try and answer your questions more often, um, at least once a week. So let's go and see what everyone's up to.
So I'm gonna go and see what Steve and Rick are up to. They're currently in the garden. Amazing. Look at these amazing flowers. I'm not even sure what they are. They look like purple bluebells, but they're not bluebells. Hmm. So this path didn't exist this morning. It was completely overgrown. And look at these amazing benches, all made of granite. Steve, what have you found? Uh, just a set of steps. Well, it's amazing. Look at that, I didn't even know they were there. It's even got this banister, which goes all the way up. We're gonna need some weed killer in between. Oh, I reckon, yeah, or a good trim, maybe. Let me come up. Wow, look at this. It's amazing, it really is. Yeah. Five minutes, should be into the meadow. <laughs> Brilliant. Really, really happy with that. Another nice discovery, Rick. What do you reckon, mate? Well, I worked hard doing it. I don't know what Steve's been doing, but... <laughs> <laughs> He'll edit that out, mate. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Steve and Rick are working really, really hard. So I'm going to leave them to it for a bit. So I'm back in the office and I've got a little bit of work to do. So I've got the multi-tool. I'll just show you what I've got to do quickly. These um, old heating pipes need removing. So there's two here and two here on the left. I've got to remove these pipes because I've removed all of the radiators in this office. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because having solid fuel is no longer very efficient. Uh, the price of wood pellet has gone up so high it makes it not viable anymore. And I don't want to burn diesel or oil so I'm going to get um, a air conditioning unit put in and there'll be a heat pump out the back of the building. It won't be visible and um, it's going to be much more efficient. So I'm going to cut these pipes out quickly with my trusty multi-tool. The multi-tool is okay, but the problem is the blade, it blunts way too quickly. So I've got this electric saw thingy, and I'm going to try and cut through with this instead. I mean, it looks rough at the moment, but once that sort of um, had another coat of very, very fine plaster, it looks fantastic. Um, I need to sort of rub it down a bit with a scraper and make sure it's uh, nice and flat before the next plaster goes on. But it's going to look great. Right, I'm going to go and see what Steve and Rick are up to in the garden quickly. See if they've made any more discoveries.
I think in about 10 to 20 meters, obviously we won't find it today, but maybe next week or the week after that, there is a natural water source coming out of the earth. So we've got another Pefric Springs on our hands, if we find it. I think maybe the nuns would have decorated it with rocks, like a rock feature, or it might have been their only water source, because I haven't, we haven't found a well yet, have we? Not yet. Not yet, no. No. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And it, I know it's along this path in about 10, 15 meters, maybe 20 meters. So that's something to look forward to. Yeah, next week. Next week, possibly, yeah.